Have you ever felt like something invisible is holding you back? Not an external challenge, but subtle habits hidden in the shadows of your daily routine that silently weaken you. The Stoics, masters of self-mastery and inner peace, believed that true strength comes from within. And yet, there are certain habits that drain our power, diminish our resolve, and prevent us from living fully. In this video, we'll uncover eight habits that make you weak, and more importantly, how to overcome them using the wisdom of Stoicism. Stick around until the end because we'll explore practical strategies to help you reclaim your strength and transform your life. Watch now still end because I promise this video will help you. Please like and comment. Let's begin. Habit number one. Procrastination of time. Let's start with one of the most common weaknesses. Procrastination. How often have you caught yourself saying, I'll start tomorrow, or I have plenty of time. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, said, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Time is our most precious resource. Every moment spent delaying action is a moment you'll never get back. Procrastination, in just about putting off tasks it's about putting off your potential, your growth, and your purpose. If there's something you've been meaning to start, don't wait for the perfect time. Begin now. Even small steps taken today are better than grand plans left for tomorrow. Habit number two. Negative self-talk. How often do you hear a little voice in your head saying, you're not good enough, you'll never succeed, or why even bother? That voice is not your friend, it's your inner critic. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus taught that we are not disturbed by things themselves, but by the opinions we form about them. Negative self-talk creates a false narrative about who we are and what we're capable of. Here's a simple practice to counter it. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, pause and ask, is this true or is it just my fear talking? Replace those thoughts with kinder, more constructive ones, like I'm learning or I'll give it my best shot. Remember, strength starts in the mind. Talk to yourself like you would to someone you care about. Habit number three, avoiding challenges. Let's be honest, no one likes discomfort. It's tempting to take the easy road, to avoid challenges and stick to what's familiar. But avoiding challenges weakens your spirit. Seneca, another great Stoic, sawed. Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. When you avoid challenges, you miss the opportunity to grow. Challenges are not obstacles. They're stepping stones to a stronger, more capable version of yourself. The next time you face a difficult situation, remind yourself, this is not happening to me, it's happening for me. Growth is waiting on the other side of fear. Habit number four, indulging in excessive materialism. We live in a world that celebrates having more more money, more possessions, more status. But Stoicism teaches us that true wealth isn't about accumulation, it's about contentment. Epictetus said, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants, excessive materialism can trap you in a cycle of endless desire, leaving you feeling empty and unfulfilled. The solution? Simplify. Focus on what truly matters your relationships, your growth, and your peace of mind. Remember, the richest person is not the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. Habit number five, seeking external validation. Have you ever felt the need to prove yourself to others? to seek their approval, their praise, their validation. It's a natural human tendency, but one that can make you weak. Marcus Aurelius put it beautifully. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. The truth is, external validation is fleeting. The applause will fade, and the opinions of others will change. True strength comes from living in alignment with your own values not chasing the approval of the crowd. Ask yourself, am I doing this because it's right? Or because I want to be liked? Live off ethically, and the right people will respect you for it. Habit number six, inability to cope with negative emotions. Key, we all experience emotions like anger, fear, and envy. But when we let these emotions control us, they weaken our resolve and cloud our judgment. The Stoics believed in mastering emotions through reason and mindfulness. When you feel overwhelmed, pause. Take a deep breath and observe your emotion without judgment. Ask yourself, what is this emotion trying to tell me? 
Over time, you'll find that emotions are not enemies to be fought, but signals to be understood. Mastering them is the key to inner peace. Habit number seven, dwelling on past mistakes. We've all made mistakes said things we regret, missed opportunities, or hurt others. But dwelling on those mistakes keeps you trapped in the past. Seneca advised, throw aside all hindrances and give up your time to attaining a sound mind. Instead of replaying your failures, reflect on them. What did you learn? How can you grow? Then let them go. The past is a teacher, not a prison. Habit number eight, ignoring the well-being of others. In the pursuit of personal success, it's easy to forget about others. But Stoicism reminds us that we're all part of a greater whole. Marcus Aurelius said, what is not good for the hive is not good for the bee. When you help others, you strengthen yourself. Kindness, compassion, and service are not signs of weakness, they're signs of true strength. Strategies to reclaim your strength. Now that we've uncovered these habits, let's talk about how to overcome them. Here are five strategies inspired by Stoicism. 1. Cultivate mindfulness. Be present. Observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. 2. Question your evaluations. Ask, is this truly bad? Or is it just my perception? 3. Practice self-reflection. Spend time, daily reflecting on your actions and thoughts. 4. Seek virtue over revenge. Choose forgiveness, patience, and understanding. 5. Embrace serenity. Accept what you cannot change and focus on what you can control. Strength isn't about controlling the world that's about mastering yourself. By recognizing and overcoming these habits, you can transform your life and build the resilience and peace. The Stoics so deeply valued. So, don't wait. Start today. Reflect, grow, and take one step closer to becoming the best version of yourself. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with someone who might need it. And don't forget to subscribe for more timeless wisdom. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.